Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to my movie channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing an impromptu review of the double feature featuring Poker Run and Midnight Movie. Now, I just picked this up in the mystery DVD unboxing that I got on eBay. 30 horror DVD titles. Um, mystery. I didn't know what was coming. And uh, yeah, this was one of those titles. So let's just get right into it. I think I'm going to start with Poker Run. Alright guys, so we just finished watching Poker Run. It wasn't the best movie. Let's just get into a real quick review of Poker Run. Basically, it's about two lawyers who want to... They're from Burbank. Um, they want to buy motorcycles and participate in what's known as the Poker Run. Right? Um, basically, you pick up one playing card at each bar. And at the end of it, whoever has the best hand wins. So, But they end up meeting two people and taking a detour type thing which is never a good idea and i'm sure you can guess what happens um let's get to the positives of this film it's going to be a short list of positives um the gore is good the opening scene was pretty cool the end of the movie was actually pretty cool as well i like the ending i didn't see it coming basically pretty surprising uh, the acting in this film is not very good. There's very, pretty bad acting, but that's pretty much what you would expect from a low-budget film. By the way, here's the back of the case, if you want to just take a look at it. Poker Run. It's, um, it's pretty good, though. Honestly, I've seen way worse films. I've reviewed way worse films, like Junior. Oh my god, that was the worst film I've ever seen. That film is worse than Taken 3. Okay, but, but yeah, Poker Run... All in all, it was okay for what it was. Um, again, the good gore, bad acting, good surprises in the beginning and in the end of the film. But the dialogue was real stupid. One of the bad guys got on my nerves a lot because he was just over the top crazy and not in a good way. Something funny though, I will tell you. No spoiler, don't worry about it. But one of the bad guys happens across a dead body. I mean, and, and the... He's, the guy's obviously been dead for a while, right? He, half of his head is missing. And what does he do? He he checks the pulse. <laughs> like, this guy's dead, dude. There's, like, flies flying all around him. But, I don't know. That, that made me laugh. But, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Poker Run. Out of 10, I'm going to give this film... Man. Uh, I'm going to give it a... I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It was all actually, you know, I'm gonna give it four and a half out of ten. It was okay, but not the greatest. I forgot to mention, IMDB gave Poker Run a 3.6, so a 4.5 from me. Anyways, guys, now all we gotta do is watch Midnight Movie. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. I've heard that this one is pretty darn good. I've actually heard people tell me about it, so I'm excited to check it out. Let's go watch it. Alright guys, so we just finished watching Midnight Movie, and I have to say that Midnight Movie is the better film of the two. It was very good. Um, I really liked it. The cast knew how to act. The dialogue was a little choppy, and the premise was unique, though. Um, basically, this film is about a movie that drove this one dude insane once upon a time. And it turns out the guy is inside of the movie, but he can come out of the movie. So they have a screening in a movie theater and he actually comes out of the film and starts killing these people in the movie theater. And it's pretty cool and he can jump back and forth like into the real world and then back into the movie. So it was definitely an original premise. I like how the people acted in this film. There was My favorite character was the biker. It was this uh, biker guy with long blonde hair and a beard and a mustache. He was really cool, really funny. He, he was uh, the, the best actor of all of them. The lead girl who plays Bridget also did a really good job. Uh, her name's Rebecca something. I don't know her, whatever, her whole name. Here's the back of the, uh, of it for the um, Midnight movie, just in case you're curious. But yeah, I gotta say, this 
this midnight movie really makes this uh, great really makes this a great value as it says right up here so IMDB gave midnight movie a 5.2 but I'm actually gonna give it a six uh, it's a very solid film the on-screen kills again are very good the weapon that the killer uses is pretty original and unique. I've never seen anything like it. The premise is unique. Half of the cast knows exactly, you know, how to act in in the situation. Um, they have good characters. The lead woman's very pretty. <laughs> um, and there's comedy strewn throughout the film, which I appreciate. So again, I'm going to give Midnight Movie a 6 out of 10. And I gave Poker Run a 4.5 out of 10. So... What would I rate this whole entire DVD bundle? Out of 10, I'm going to rate this DVD bundle a 6. Um, because, again, Midnight Movie is a great one. Poker Run's not so great, but it is still entertaining, and there's some good gore in it. So again, this gets a 6 out of 10 from me overall. And that was my impromptu review of the double feature featuring Poker Run and Midnight Movie. I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned because I have a lot more impromptu reviews coming up soon. As you guys know, I picked up six Fangoria titles. And I also picked up a mystery box filled with 30 random horror titles. So I'm going to try to review the ones that I'm interested in. And that's pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned, and I'll see you soon for another impromptu review. Thanks for watching.